Hello. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a wine business. My name is James and I will be your business consultant in this video. Now, before we start your wine business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. The wine industry is worth billions of dollars. This is due to the fact that Americans enjoy wine and would rather forego food than a relaxing glass of fine wine after a long day. Without the presence of wine and champagne, no gathering, event, wedding, or anniversary is complete. If you want to be a part of this industry, there are many niches to choose from because the wine industry is so versatile. Here are 10 profitable wine-related businesses to help you make a good decision. 1. Work as a wine consultant. A wine consultant is someone who conducts wine tastings in people's homes and offices. These wine tastings can be done privately or in groups for socialization purposes. As a wine consultant, you would get to teach people wine tasting techniques while also earning a good living. You must be a wine enthusiast in order to become a certified wine consultant. Wine consultants are compensated with a marketing fee for wine orders placed at their wine tasting events. 2. Wine Themed Gift Baskets Wine enthusiasts will always appreciate a wine gift basket. You can begin putting together gift baskets for people attending housewarmings, anniversaries, and other events. To create an elegant wine gift basket fit for a king, pair the lively champagne, velvety red, crisp white wine, or all three with the finest gourmet chocolates, cheeses, snacks, nuts, and more. In the end, your wine gift basket should have something for everyone. 3. Establish a wine bar. A wine bar is typically a place where people gather to unwind, drink wine, and converse. A wine bar typically creates a space and environment in which people can gather and socialize. To be successful, your bar should always have good music, something to eat, and a comfortable seating area. You will need a government permit to operate this type of business, so do your homework before you begin. 4. Have a vineyard. Owning a vineyard is one of the most profitable businesses in the wine industry. Instead of simply distributing wine to retailers, you could decide to own a vineyard where you will grow grapes and other fruits used to make wine and sell it in large quantities to manufacturers. It should be noted that vine growing is quite difficult, so you should be very familiar with the plant before farming it on a large scale. 5. Create a social network for wine enthusiasts. You can create a social network for wine enthusiasts. People can come here to talk about their favorite wines, share their wine experiences, and ask questions, among other things. You can profit from this medium by running wine-related advertisements and using Google AdSense. 6. Open a wine and cheese shop. Wine complements cheese perfectly, and certain cheeses pair well with specific wines. You can open a shop that serves customers by pairing wine and cheese and also provides expert advice on the subject. If you do not have enough capital to open a physical store, you can opt for an online version. 7. Create a game for wine enthusiasts. Nothing grabs your attention like a game based on your favorite food or pastime. You can create and sell games in which players share their wine experiences and earn points for achieving a specific wine goal. You can post this game on your social media site so that people can compete against one another. 8. Wine Collector Wine collectors are similar to those who collect art, coins, stamps, and jewelry. A wine collector looks for rare wines made several years, if not centuries, ago and buys them to keep in his or her store. You can turn this into a business by collecting rare, fine wines and selling them to wine collectors. 9. Own and operate an online wine shop. If you can't afford a physical store, you can start and run an online wine store. You must photograph and upload all of the available wines in your warehouse before inviting people to place orders. Make sure you have a reliable delivery system in place so that you can attract and retain customers. To start such a business, you must first obtain the necessary licenses and permits. 10. Become a driver for private wine tours. If you live in a vineyard-rich area, you can become a private wine tour driver. You can arrange private tours of the vineyard as well as wine tastings. You can also double as a tour guide by explaining the history and descriptions of several of the locations. This is a seasonal job because private wine tour drivers are in high demand from May to October. A wine tour driver's hourly wage is $66 on average. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a wine business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy, an extension for education.